Suppose you are making a team of cricketers for IPL. So what do you do? You hire cricketers for your team. First of all, you will hire a set of batsmen for your team. Then you'll need a set of bowlers for your team as well. So you will add the seat set of bowlers with the set of batsmen you are having. So basically you are doing A union B, that is batsmen and bowlers together. So it will look like this. You will have a team with batsmen as well as bowlers. Now, is your team complete here? No. For, being, for making a complete team, you will need wicket keepers as well. So what do you do? First of all, you had A union B with you. But then you realized that your team is not complete. You need wicket keepers as well. You need a team C as well. So what do you do? You unite A, B and C. So this is called A union B, union C. Here we will learn union of three sets. What did union of three sets give you? The union of three sets here gave you the set of batsmen, bowlers and wicket keepers together to form an IPL team. Now let's do this in numbers. Your A refers to, mm -hmm. now let's do this with numbers. Your A is a set of numbers 1, 3, 5, 7 and 8. Whereas B is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6. Whereas C is 3, 6, 9 and 10. Can you tell what is A union B? Solve it for yourself. You know it how to do. Well, A union B can be seen from this diagram. A and B. When we do A union B, we write the set of elements present in A. And then we write the set of elements present in B. What will it give us? 1, 3, 5, 7, 8. Then we write the set of elements present in B. But we will not repeat 1 and 3 as we have already written that as elements of A. What are the other elements present? 2, 4 and 6. So we got A union B. See, we have A union B in a different set. The highlighted portion gives you A and B. Now what about A union B union C? What we will do? We have already taken out A union B. What we will do is, we will add the elements present in C. You have already seen that when we taken out a and B, that is A union B, we did not write the elements that is not present in A and B, that is the elements of C. So when we do A union B union C, we will add the elements 9 and 10 to this set. Let's see how we will do it. A union B union C will give us the elements present in A and B, that is these, plus the elements present in C. So we get all the elements here which are present in A, present in B or present in C. So A union B can be represented by these two circles. Forget about C, just look at A and B. Uniting these two circles will give us A union B. Well, B union C can be denoted by these two circles. Do not see A. Just look at B and C, we can see that set of B, set of elements of B and set of elements of C together will give us B union C. In the same way, A union C can be denoted by these two circles, A and C. Writing the elements present in A and writing the set of elements present in B distinctively. And finally, a union B union C, that is writing all the elements present in set A, set B or set C.